Welcome back to the Ideas Tech. This is the third episode of Cloud MCP Servers. In the last episode, we learned how to set up GitHub integration and how to use it thoroughly. In this episode, we are going to learn how to set up and use the Fetch MCP Server. So as it is saying, Fetch is for web content fetching and conversation for efficient LLM usage. So with the help of this, you can give it a link of any web page and it can access it and give you the content based on your questions. So let's to that open this server and here you will find all of the available tools there is only one available tool that is called fetch in this server and you can read other things about it if you want to like it has the maximum limit of 5000 characters so you can ask it to fetch next batch of 500 characters if you want to continue but uh, for the first time it will use the 500 characters so we will bypass that limit as well in uh, in few minutes so please continue watching and if we scroll down we have multiple Multiple ways to install it you can use node.js approach or you can use the recommended approach that is uv and i am also going to use uv in this video so also you can use the pip and how to add or configure it with your cloud this is the instruction for if you're using uvx then this is the way you have to put uvx here and if you are using docker that is interesting i didn't know that we can use the docker as well with it so this is how you can use the docker as well and this is the pip installation method okay and and what about the robots.txt so by default the server will obey a website robot.txt file but if the request came from the model uh, via a tool but not if the request was user initiated via prompt this can be disabled by adding the argument ignore robots-txt to the args list in the configuration okay so let's quickly begin first of all uh, what i would do is that i would uh, clone this entire repository somewhere so i'm going to copy it open the terminal and go to the directory where you want to clone it and run this command git clone this you can clone it with the help of the de github desktop version as well or through any other way that you want to clone but once you clone it go to the folder servers and here you have all of the files okay this was the first step now again go to the fetch server page documentation and now open the cloud desktop and click on the cloud settings and go to the developer and at the moment i don't have any mcp server installed i have removed all of the servers so you will find these two buttons edit config or get started if you click on the get started it will take you to the documentation or if you click on the edit config then it will open the folder where all of the files for the cloud are saved okay now we need to open this file in your editor so drag it and open the editor and paste it now you can see currently mcp servers object is empty so let's start adding our server so this is how you would add this server okay all right first of all before testing it we need to check if uv or uvx is installed so run the command uvx check the version that is available also you can check uv version if that is installed both are available and if you search for uv command this is the website where you will find all of the information so if you don't have it installed you can follow the instruction from here and install it okay and once you have it, we need to add extra arguments to it. Okay, first of all, we need to modify the directory. So for that, I will add another item in this array. That would be the directory flag. And this directory flag is also here. You can read about it. It changes to given directory prior to running the command. Relative paths are resolved with the given directory at the base. Okay, so now after that, we need to specify the directory where we want to point it to. So here we will paste the directory path. And here we need to add run command. Okay now open your terminal again and go to the source and then go to the fetch and now type pwd that would give you present working directory path so just copy this entire path and paste it here like this now you have directory and it would be looking for the fetch server from this directory and it will run the command and run the server and this is the name of the server that you have provided okay that's it now you can quit the cloud and open it again so once it is closed open the cloud again here i would use the uv because i'm getting some errors so there was a problem that it is not working so to fix that you have to provide the exact path of the uv command so for that i will run the command which uv press enter and it will give you the exact path where it is located so copy the path of this command and paste it here in the command section and that's it everything else would stay same directory and this is the path this is a run and it will run this server okay that's it now restart the cloud 
and now you will see there are no errors and here you see one mcp tool available if you click on that fetch is now loaded and uh, also it provides all of the description that what it is about and also if you go to the settings you will find this tool is loaded here as well and it is currently running without any errors all right so now let's quickly test it so in the browser open any web page and copy the url that you want to use so copy it and give it to it please summarize this url using your fetch mcp tool if i don't specify it sometimes it uh, doesn't know that it has to use the fetch so it uh, fails so let's see if it uh, recognize that if it has to use a tool or not so please summarize this tool and give it the url okay now at this time uh, it automatically now that it has to use a tool and it is asking for my permission that if i allow for this chat to use this tool if you uh, click allow once then it will use it once and for the second uh, time if it need to use it it will ask you for the permission again but i want to allow once for this entire chat so i will click on allow for chat now it is going to that url get the content and once it gets the content it will use its ai model to summarize the content of that web page so in that way we are now able to browse the web by providing it any url and this approach is useful because in this way you don't have to use any third party uh, api or any api key you don't have to pay anything just set it up give it the url and it will read it for you browse it and uh, summarize it for you. you don't have to go and copy things manually by yourself okay and uh, other than that if you click on that it will show you that what content it got the interesting part of this tool is that it doesn't uh, give you uh, all that useless html uh, it will just extract the part that is needed and transform it into appropriate markdown format so even if you copy that you are able to preview it anywhere so for example i have copied that you don't need to uh, just summarize it you can actually utilize it so for example copy that and open a uh, somewhere in editor i have it did not copy the entire part so you can manually copy that and paste it here and press command shift p and right click as this is make sure a markdown format is activated here and now you want to preview it so click on that it will show the preview on the right side so or you can use any mc uh, you can use any uh, markdown tool to preview the content that you got you can see uh, it got all of the content in a very nice format that you can read very easily so if you open it you will notice that i think all of the content was extracted like mcp hosts and get started and then quick start links so uh, only important things were these so it got that and now uh, it is available to you anyways now let's quickly find another interesting website okay this is another link that we can try cloud3 family copy the link and go back to the cloud open a new chat and ask it summarize in bullet point list all right now again it is using the tool for us i gave it permission now wait for some time it got the context and it is now able to summarize it excellent and if you look at it again this is markdown you can again copy it if you want to just to see what it got from there and open the editor and on the right side you can see it is nicely formatted instead of html now it is using proper markdown that is simplified and easy to maintain and other than that on the bottom you find that it is saying content truncated call to fetch tool with start index of 5000 to get more so it did not get the all of the content it actually used first 5000 characters so this is the summary of only first 5000 characters and if you don't know that it skipped all other remaining part then you will not now it so you will have to like every time come to this preview and see if it is using the entire content or only 5000 characters and uh, maybe you don't want this limit if uh, you want to summarize the next part you can say please summarize next please now use next part so let's see if it is able to understand what it needs to do so it should now use the next 5000 characters okay it understand that earlier it was uh, it fetched 5000 characters now it need to fetch the next 5000 characters and now it is summarizing the remaining part but this is not a uh, great sometimes we want to summarize all together so in that case you can definitely uh, edit your server so let's do that interesting part as i am already in my server fetch server so i will open it in my editor okay now in this editor 
open the source folder and click in the click on the server.py so this is your server and this is all of the files and all of the tools that are available here and search for the 5000 you can see uh, this is the limit that uh, was applying on there so you can just change it i am going to change it from 5000 to 50000 you can change it to whatever you want now it will be able to extract more content and after that another thing that i would like to touch is that here so here by default it might ignore the websites that have the ignore robots specified so in that way it uh, the cloud will skip those websites so if you don't want to skip those websites as well you can uh, definitely add a uh, crew here if you want to it's totally up to you i'm just telling you that this is another option that you want to add if you, if you are willing to do that now once we have made these changes we should restart the server okay but before that let me copy my url so that i could use it again i will copy my entire prompt now restart the cloud okay cloud is restarted now paste the same prompt and press enter this time it should be able to extract the entire data and we will compare it with the content that we have in our editor already last time it was cut off here let's see if it is able to get the entire content or not okay this time it is unable to guess that it has to use the mcp server so let's uh, literally tell it that please use mcp fetch tool okay now it knows what to do so allow for this chat and let's see what happens all right so it, it got some content let's see if it was able to get the entire content of or it was stuck so on the bottom you see that there is no error about the 5000 characters limit okay so that's mean it was able to get the entire content i'm going to copy paste the entire content into my editor just to preview the markdown so all right i have selected all copy that and open a new tab paste it here and now you can clearly see that it was cut off here but in the new content we got a lot of more content after this line so now let's preview it on the right side you can see we got all of the content okay and this time the summary is also based on the entire content not just first 5000 characters also if you want to double check you can go back here and scroll down to the bottom by the way it doesn't read the images yet it just extract the text so if there are images then uh, keep that in mind it is not reading those images just the text okay and if we use scroll down let's see what is the last part it is saying to start building with cloud so copy that paste and yes this is the last sentence that is here that's mean it was able to extract the entire content so this is an amazing tool i really liked this server and i hope that you also liked this tool and if you think this video provided you value then please don't forget to like and share this video and also please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming episodes on cloud mcp because i'm going to add more and more videos about the mcp servers as you know there are many more mcp servers so my uh, target is that i would try to explore all of these mcp servers including the official ones then the third party services as you can see there are many third party providers and then i will also explore the community servers that are built by the community and at the end i will also record a video how you can create your own custom mcp server to do anything with the help of the cloud desktop application so if you have any questions or any suggestion or any feedback then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and i will do my best to reply them as soon as possible thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video goodbye